Talking to me today is Anthony Taggart from Zoo He's the president here in Australia. Thanks so much for joining us, Anthony. Thanks very much for having us, Manny. Now, look, tell us a little bit about Zoo Peru. Where are you based, exactly? Uh, we're based in the Quitos, Peru, which is in the northern area of the Amazon Basin, and we've been working there now for about 16 years. Great. And so for those people that don't exactly know where that is, whereabouts in South America? Uh, it's basically on the western coast. Uh, it borders um, Brazil, uh, Ecuador and Colombia. And we're right up on the uh, banks of the Amazon. Now I understand the zoo there is on mm. about 900 hectares of Amazonian rainforest, is yeah, that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's uh, nine, um, 900 hectares and all the animals at the zoo are animals that have been confiscated from poachers by environmental police because poaching is such a big problem there. And the only animals that are there are animals that are native to the area. So there's no uh, kangaroos, koalas, tigers, lions, things like that. Only animals are native. So very, very different to what we used to. It's sort of more mm. like a wildlife park yeah, here in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, look, we have some photographs of some of the animals from that zoo. Mm -hmm. Can we go through those and can you sure. tell us what the animal is firstly? Because sure. for a lot of people, they wouldn't have seen some of these incredible animals. And tell us a little bit about their story. Sure, no worries. Well, the first one you can see there, that's called a uh, ring-tailed kawadi. Um, basically, the exhibits that a lot of these animals are in when we first went over there were very poor. Uh, had didn't have uh, very good um, mental or physical stimulation for the animals. And we've been improving the quality of life for all these animals. The second one you can see here, this is one of our favourite jags. This is Baylen in one of his uh, old uh, jaguar enclosures, which had a concrete floor. And we've been building immersion exhibits now into the rainforest. And the next shot you can see coming up now, this is um, how we get a lot of our animals come in as donations and also as confiscations. And this little boy here, he's actually got a giant anteater, which was his pet, and he's bringing in to donate. That, well, one of these other ones here, this is a um, kinkajou, which is a little bit like a ring-tailed possum. And this other one here is from one of our other jaguars, Popeye just uh, resting on one of his logs in uh, one of the old exhibits before going into his new enclosure. So basically you are looking after these animals in a zoo situation. Mm. So right. some of the issues that you face um, and exactly how does, it, how does it work with the government that owns the zoo? Well, well see the government runs the zoo. Um, zoo Peru Inc. We're a non-profit organisation based in Australia and in the United States and uh, we've basically been assisting the zoo over the last 16 years. It's been very, very difficult because mm. of all the corruption and everything that's uh, been there in South America. So not only are we now helping the zoo, but we're now looking uh, into expanding our sites on other conservation projects. In Great. The area. Now, now we do have some video footage, mm. which I'm sure everyone would be just delighted to see. Yeah. And if you can talk us through exactly sure. what we're looking at as well. Yeah, no worries. Um, some of the animals are critically endangered, so I guess that's a unique status for the, the, the workers working there, yeah, really yeah, looking yeah, after yeah, these yeah, definitely. Like, we've um, been fortunate enough to get a lot of help from um, people from Australia mm -hmm. and also yeah. abroad. And basically what we've been doing, as you can see here, this is just where we've been microchipping the, um, uh, this is a anaconda and a red-tailed boa yep. enclosure. And the guys are just basically bringing out those animals and uh, placing microchips in the animals. And the microchips basically help us to um, basically, if the animals do go missing from the zoo, and go into the black market area, we can actually uh, find those animals and by using a, a Trovan scanner we can actually pinpoint exactly what animal um, is ours and that sort of thing. Great, so a lot of really, really important work being done there obviously. Mm. And obviously poaching is another issue, the Poaching's illegal pet trade? Poaching is a huge issue. Yeah, it's in South America, um, poaching is a, a billion dollar trade mm. each year. Um, basically no animals um, basically out of the sights of the poacher. Mm. Usually the smaller the animal, the cuter the animal, the more chance the animal is actually going to get poached. Well speaking of cute, um, we've got a picture here that we'll ask Fred to hold up of <laughs> Bubbles the puma. Now this obviously is a young animal. Can you tell us quickly um, yep. a little bit about this animal and what people can do to help? Well let's see this is Bubbles. Uh, Bubbles is one of our pumas that was actually born at the zoo. And um, you can see uh, pumas at this stage when they're young have this uh, dark um, pattern on their coat that's to help with camouflage. And we're actually doing a lot of things at the zoo where people can actually adopt the animal. Right. And uh, Bubbles is one of the animals we've got up for adoption at the moment, along with a variety of other animals. And uh, we have an adoption pack which uh, we will be sending out to people when they adopt the animals. So it's very cheap and it's very worthwhile and it goes directly towards helping the animals themselves. So obviously adopting an animal, really mm -hmm. important, and there's lots of uh, wonderful animals that people can adopt. Yeah, What's other ways people can help here in um, Australia? Other ways would be to uh, become a member of Zoo Peru. It's very cheap, it's only $25 for a year. And, um, and other ways uh, also to uh, donate uh, funds because we're a tax deductible non-profit and so you can write the money off on, on tax. Okay. And all the money, 100 cents in the dollar, goes actually on the project. And we're also looking for volunteers and um, you know, people who have expertise to maybe come over and give us a hand at some stage. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining That's us, okay. Anthony. Thanks really very much for having us. Yeah, good to see you again. No worries.
Guys, if you're interested in Zooparoo, get online to zooparoo.com and you can become a member or adopt an animal. Um, also go to thecount.com.au for more information. Thanks very much. See you next time.